Hello everyone, I'm Mish and welcome to Ballotpedia. In the run-up to the November 5th, 2024 general election, Ballotpedia brings you our hallmark nonpartisan objective information on noteworthy elections and ballot measures. In this video, I'll discuss Nebraska Initiative 434, the Prohibit Abortions After the First Trimester Amendment, an initiated constitutional amendment that Nebraska voters will decide on November 5th. Nebraska 434 is one of two abortion initiatives on the ballot in Nebraska in November. The other initiative, and please check out our video on that one as well, is Nebraska Initiative 439, the Right to Abortion Initiative, also an initiated constitutional amendment. A yes vote on, the, on Initiative 434 supports amending the state constitution to prohibit abortions after the first trimester unless necessitated by a medical emergency or the pregnancy is a result of sexual assault or incest. A no vote opposes this amendment. Let's take a look at the current status of abortion in Abortion is currently banned after 12 weeks of pregnancy. The law banning abortion after 12 weeks, LB 574, was signed by Republican Governor Jim Pillen on May 22, 2023. Exceptions include saving the life of the mother, preventing serious risks to the physical health of the mother, and if the pregnancy was a result of rape or incest. Protect Women and Children is leading the campaign in support of the initiative. Other supporters include Nebraska Catholic Conference, Nebraska Family Alliance, and Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America. Protect Our Rights is the campaign opposing Initiative 434. Protect Our Rights is campaigning in support of a competing initiative, Initiative 439, the Right to Abortion Initiative. Other groups that support the Right to Abortion Initiative and oppose Initiative 434, the Prohibit Abortions After the First Trimester Amendment, include ACLU of Nebraska, Planned Parenthood Advocates of Nebraska, and Women's Fund of Omaha. Campaign finance reports through October 2024 show that Initiative 434 supporters have raised $7.1 million and Initiative 434 opponents have raised $6.7 million. As of October 9, 2024, 11 statewide ballot measures have related to abortion have been certified in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Maryland, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, New York, Nevada, and South Dakota for the general election ballot in 2024. This is the most on record for a single year. Keep an eye out for our videos about the measures in each state. Finally, here is a rundown of what states have decided on abortion ballot measures recently from Ballotpedia's comprehensive history of abortion ballot measures. Since 2022, when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, seven states have had ballot measures addressing abortion. Four measures in Vermont, Michigan, and California in 2022 and Ohio in 2023 were sponsored by campaigns that described themselves as pro-choice and created state constitutional rights to abortion. All four measures were approved. Three measures in Kansas, Kentucky, and Montana were sponsored by campaigns describing themselves as pro-life and were designed to explicitly provide that there is no right to abortion in the state constitution. All three were defeated. For more information about Nebraska Initiative 434, including its full text, campaign finance information, and more arguments for or against it, click on the link below. And make sure to check back with us for more nonpartisan, fact-based information on Americans on America's politics and elections. I'm Mish. Thanks for watching.